Crash cam video shows a chaotic scene in Hinsdale after police say several people tried to steal luxury cars from this dealership. One of the suspects, just 16 years old. WGN Shannon Halligan here with the latest on this investigation. Shannon. Yeah, burglars are brazenly hitting high-end car dealerships. Hinsdale police stopped two suspects yesterday and prosecutors have filed charges, but it all could have wound up much worse. A dangerous game. Yeah. Dash camera video shows Hinsdale police stopping suspects attempting to take off in a getaway car. According to prosecutors, two suspects are facing multiple charges after breaking into a Land Rover dealership and Continental Motors on Ogden Avenue around 2.30 Monday morning. It's a growing trend in the suburbs. Police say 125 cars have been stolen from Chicago area auto dealers this year alone. Former FBI agent Phil Andrew said these types of crimes are a dangerous game for those committing the crimes and for law enforcement. When you're going for those high end cars in a brazen way like this, um, that says that you are not um, in touch with any of the consequences. I'm a bit of a game. And that's a dangerous game for everybody as involved. Police found a $250,000 Ferrari idling outside the dealership. Soon after, an officer used his car to pin in the getaway car. In the video, you can see the suspects taking off. Police say a 16-year-old was armed with a handgun that had an extended ammunition clip. An officer tased the teen and took him into custody along with 24-year-old Rajon Stewart of Country Club Hills. Both are now charged with felony burglary, possession of a stolen vehicle, and other crimes. The car they were riding in had bullet holes from a previous shooting and had been reported stolen from Chicago earlier in the month. Hinsdale's police chief said the officer showed a lot of restraint because this could have ended tragically for the teen with the gun and Andrew agreed. We're in a lucky position right now to not be talking about a police involved shooting and I really credit uh, the Hinsdale Police Department and certainly the officers there, their training, their experience and really their values. Prosecutors say the teen has several prior felony cases pending against him in Cook County. He's being held until his next court date in DuPage County later this month, where he is facing stiffer bond and charges there. Well, mm -hmm. all right, Shannon, thank you. Well, now to a